Hey guys, I normally don't do techie stuff. I'm usually the outdoor kind of guy, hunting, fishing, all that good stuff. But my day job is an IT consultant. And so I try to stay away from IT stuff when I'm on my own time. I've got a product here that I want to show you. Uh, it was an Indiegogo project that was put out a few months ago. So I've got a MacBook in front of me. That's my main tool for the job. I've been a Mac user for many, many years. And I had to uh, upgrade my laptop this past year and the 2017 MacBook Pro, they basically got away with the MagSafe adapter. So if you don't know, if you had an earlier model version, the MagSafe adapter was basically you'd plug in your, uh, your, lip, your power cord and it was an adapter that would just, via a magnet, would attach to the side of your laptop. And basically the, the whole purpose of this thing is that's the number one part that breaks on any laptop is basically where the power plug plugs in the laptop because inevitably the cable gets tripped on, yanks the laptop on the floor, busts the screen, busts the keyboard, or just rips the thing out of the, the, the power plug out of the laptop and tears it up there. So this MagSafe thing has been around for years that Apple's had. It's been a great thing. But I guess in their infinite wisdom, they decided to remove the MagSafe and put in a touch bar, which I find utterly useless. But anyway, aside from that, when I was researching this, how do I solve this problem? There were a couple products on the market that were out there that were magnetic USB-C adapters because the 2017 MacBook Pro only has USB-C ports on it. Yes, they got rid of my SD card slot also, which is thoroughly annoying. But anyway, the uh, USB-C adapter is how it gets its power. And so what I did was I researched the market and what I found at the time, there were some options out there, but nothing that did the full 87 watts. But I did run across this Vinpoc uh, solution made by Vinpoc. They call it the Vinpoc Bolt Magnetic Adapter. And basically, it's the only one that does a full 87 watts. So several months ago, I placed an order through Indiegogo, go, go, and I placed an order for two of them. I got in early with the early price points, and basically I got a bunch of email notices that they were working on it, and it was in production, and it was in testing and all these things. And about two weeks ago, I finally received my order. It comes in a little case like this. Basically, I ordered two of them because I like to have a backup. But I ordered two of them here. It comes in a little case like this. You open it up, and what you have is your cable. What you're going to have, I'll show you this up closer in a minute, but you're going to have the, the little adapter here that's magnetic, and this piece just plugs into your USB-C port. Basically, this cable then would plug into your normal power brick that came with the Apple. You just swap out your cables with the one Apple gave you with this new Vinpoc bolt cable. Plug this little USB-C adapter into your laptop, and bam, you've got your magnetic connection again. Good. I've looked at uh, Indiegogo, a lot of the comments. People were, some people had some complaints that they got their cables didn't work. Where are my cables? And with Indiegogo, it's a, it's a crowdfunding project that was out there. And basically, you know, crowdfunding, there's some risk involved. I felt like Vinpoc kept up with communications to me. I got an email every other week or so letting me know what the status was, when it was shipped, and finally received my orders. I've been using it for about two weeks. I, I was thrilled when I opened it up. Everything worked. I do IT consulting on a daily basis. So I use this laptop every single day. I go from client site to client site to client site. So I'm constantly turning my laptop down, putting it in the backpack, carrying it somewhere else, open it up, open it up maybe two or three times a day. I'm pulling these cables out several times a day, plugging, unplugging, wrapping it up. And so I've been using this now for about two weeks straight. I haven't had any problems with this, I'm very happy with it. And so right now I'm just going to show you the setup here, how this works, let you see what it looks like. but. I'll put links down below for it. I've been using it for two weeks straight since I've got it. I was one of the early ones to get it. So far, it's been working great for me. That's all I can tell you. There's some people complaining their cable didn't work, quit working after a day, but the only thing I will say is the magnet is not quite as strong as the old MagSafe adapter. And, and I think that might just be due to size. This is small, and uh, the MagSafe adapter was a little bit wider on the older Max, and maybe it's just the, the magnet's not as strong because of that, but it I haven't had any problems with it, so it works good and it does the job. It charges the laptop up very well and also does that break away if somebody trips on a cable. Because you know, these MacBooks are not cheap, okay? So the last thing I want to do is have somebody hit my power cord and pull the laptop on the ground for me. So anyway, I'll show you the up close view of, of what this looks like and, and let you take a look at it. All right, so here's the USB-C adapter. I'm going to pull this out of the plug there. And that's what it looks like. You're going to put this piece into your USB-C port and just leave it in there. I've left it in there for two weeks straight, just pulled it out tonight. So it's not something that just slides out easy because, like I said, I've had it in and out of my laptop. But I leave this piece in, and you'll see here, as I bring it close, the magnet just pulls that in. So you can see it's got a good magnet connector. All right, so we're just going to plug this into our USB-C port, 
and just push it in there. It gets a good fit, it's good and solid. It's not easy to pull out. I mean, I really gotta get my fingernails behind it in order to pull it out of here, so it's a good, good snug fit right now. Plug it, it's not charging, plug it in, it recognizes it right off the bat and it starts charging and there we go. So like I said, just unplug this thing, wrap this up, put it in my bag and I go, I leave that in there the whole time, I've been using it two weeks straight. So far for me, it's worked very well. So I hope you guys enjoy.